Breaking news. South East elders protest at United Kingdom Parliament, accused Buhari government of genocide. The South East leaders, in a video of the protest obtained by Sahara reporters, noted that the government was foiling the crisis in the region. Some South East elders have stormed the United Kingdom Parliament in London to protest against the President Muhammad Buhari's alleged genocide in their region while urging the British authorities to prevail on Nigeria to halt the killings. The South East leaders, in a video of the protest obtained by Sahara reporters, noted that the government was foiling the crisis in the region. It is also accused the government of allowing attackers in form of X-Men to maim and kill innocent people. One of the leaders and elders said, It has been a long time all of us came together, and now we are here. This is the British Parliament. This is House of Commons and House of Lords, the mother of all parliaments. We are bringing this letter because of the problem in Igbo land and the South East generally, which can be classified as genocide. People are being killed in a daily basis. The emulation of the Igbo and South East in Nigeria is unbelievable. Young boys and young girls are marched out of their houses by fully armed soldiers. They go into their houses and arrest them and they disappear and nobody asks any questions. It should stop. It must not be allowed to continue. We are appealing to the members of the British Parliament to please prevail on the Buhari government. We cannot go to our farms. The headsmen are there killing and burning our people. Igbo people in the UK have been protesting against various issues and decisions in Nigeria including the recent uh, arrest of the leader of the indigenous people of the Afra, Namdi Kanu, who is in the custody of the Department of State Services in Abuja. Sahara reporters at last Thursday reported that Nigerians in London began a protest to demand the release of Kanu, who was arrested and brought to Nigeria by the Nigerian government from Kenya last Sunday. Some of the protesters waved the Biafran flag in a video obtained by Sahara reporters as they chanted, Free Namde Kanu now, Free Namde Kanu now. Kanu is a dual citizen of Britain and Nigeria and had been staying in the UK. The Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami at last Tuesday announced the arrest of Kanu while reeling out his offenses and insisting that he must continue his court trial in earnest. Malami, in the next of in the test of his press conference in Abuja on Tuesday, had noted that the IPOB leader, apart from jumping bail, has been accused of engaging in sub subversive activities that include inciting violence through television, radio, and online broadcast against Nigeria and Nigerian states and institution. Well, I would you know dispute the fact that Malami said uh, Namdekanu has been inciting violence through television, radio, and online broadcasts against Nigeria. Not against Nigeria and not against Nigeria, but against the uh, government of President Muhammadu Buhari. Nigerians are not even bothered about his uh, incitement, either his inciting violence, and as it is, uh, uh, Namdekanu has never incited any violence on anybody. What is the meaning of violence? Violence in a nutshell should be a chaotic move or movement that by is being done or fight by a, a set of some people you know destroying properties killing of human lives and you know disturbing the peace of the country through physical assault but what they are telling us now that namdekanu is inciting violence how has it incited violence what he's only doing is just agitating for good governance from uh, the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari is requesting for uh, good leadership and also through the lopsided uh, appointment that Buhari has uh, endeavored himself and his administration into just only the Fulani people are you know getting the sensitive positions in the appointment of Buhari getting juicy positions in the appointment of Buhari those are the things Namdekanu is uh, fighting for and from the onset of democracy since 1999 Igbo has not you know delivered any precedent there, there have never been Igbo presidency 
in the history of Nigerian government, be it military or uh, uh, a democracy. So those are the things Namdi Kanu are agitating for. But recently, before uh, the arrest of Namdi Kanu, Namdi Kanu floated the Eastern Security Network, which is ESN, just to fight bandits. Who are the bandits? They are the killer Fulani elders, you know, rearing cattle and grazing cattle openly. That is why the southern governors came together and banned open grazing at the cost because they started using that open grazing to perpetrate evil just because they were said they are the owner of nigeria why just because buhari attained the position of presidency now they have the right to kill and to mine and to destroy you know every entity in the south they have been doing that in the north and everybody has kept quiet nobody is talking about it but whenever they come to the south the southern you know you know uh, uh, give them a reprisal and whenever they rear their cattle they graze their cattle into people's farm and the cattle will destroy their farm if anybody talks they bring out ak-47 they move with ak-47 and start destroying properties and killing you know people of the south that is why namdekanu deem it fit to bring out esn and since then the government of buhari has been angry over what Nambikanu has been doing just because he said he's killing the uh, Fulani. And meanwhile, the people of Nigeria have said before you can, you know, arrest anybody or accuse anybody uh, that, or uh, from the south that is disturbing the peace of a country, those that are Boko Haram and the Fulani elders in the northern part, they should go and arrest them first before they can now come back to. So many Nigerians have been angry over the administration of President Mamadou Buhari. So the people in the diaspora also are also very, very angry. Well, from the comment session, so many people have been, you know, so very, very angry. And, you know, uh, says uh, this article, the people, uh, the UK uh, Igbos uh, in the diaspora, they are beaten uh, around the bush. Well, there is something they didn't complete during the Civil War. Yeah, this person is talking about the egos that they didn't complete something during the civil war that's what they are trying to complete but thank god for social media the world is watching yes the world is watching the administration of president Mahmoud Bubari. this is the first time in history that a sitting president would act this way and surprisingly what really happened to uh sunday Igbo is just you know baffling so so baffling Mm? Why will you send DSS? Okay, if at all you want to send DSS to go and arrest or claim that this person is possessing, you know, Ill illegal arms in his house, you are supposed to go by the day, not at night. That is uncalled for, because it's supposed to be at the day, not at night. But you went in the midnight around 1 a.m. So that means it's, you know, invading someone's privacy. You know an innocent man even if it's a criminal you shouldn't have invaded if you want to go for an arrest there should be a warrant definitely so that they will know that you are from government but the, those dss acted like bandits they acted like the way the unknown government acts they act like criminals they are all criminals and hoodlums they acted like aya assassin you know going to igbo's house likewise the way namdekanu was arrested that's an injustice if you had invited namdekanu to come and sit for his you know hearing he would have come and you know send letter to uk uh, people or uk uh, government that namdekanu is wanted in nigeria then they will sign the bill he will come by himself to come and come for the sittings but arresting him conniving with kenya government to arrest namdekanu is uncalled for well, this is in Nigeria we have. So many people have been asking, how did we get here? How did we wake up and get to this stage in Nigeria? Well, I leave the comment section into your hands. You can comment. Thanks for listening and God bless.